As Charlie Ross and Izzy Bomber continued their antiques road trip towards Surrey, the pair searched for hidden treasures with the reward of making a profit when it went to auction. During one of their stops, Izzy stumbled upon a wooden hippopotamus letter opener, which she very quickly decided she liked. But would it be worth taking the risk on at auction? He's a bit of fun isn't he? It's a wooden hippopotamus letter opener, Izzy said inspecting the object. He's just fun, I like animals, I like hippos, I love novelty items, the market loves novelty items and I can't say I've seen a hippo before. He's priced at £28 which isn't bad at all. I actually can't believe I'm being this decisive and deciding pretty much on the spur of the moment to buy something. Commenting on Izzy's excitement, the voiceover joke, snappy decisions I, that's unlike you Izzy. Before finding her discovery of a hippo letter opener, Izzy stumbled upon a pair of WW1 medals. So you've got your victory medal and your war medal. What you get on WW1 medals is the name engraved around the edge and sometimes this can be restruck which does devalue the medal and you also want to make sure that they're a matching pair rather than just two that have been put together so these say 176,395 GLRAV pool raw. So that'll be royal artillery, she told viewers. Alongside the pair of medals was a pocket diary belonging to the same person. Izzy explained, here we're holding a story, we've got his diary which is absolutely tiny. She also explained she wanted to find a diary entry in the 11th of November 1918, which luckily there was. So on the 11th, we've got an entry there referencing that the war came to an end. For my own peace of mind, I'm going to walk around have a look what else there is it's a definite maybe and chances are I'll probably be back. After much deliberation Izzy turned up at the auction with two pieces of jewelry, the WW1 medals and diary, a cast bronze sausage dog statue and her wooden hippopotamus letter opener. Her ebony hippo letter opener was up for auction first and Izzy took the opportunity to poke fun at her co-star. She asked Charlie, do you ever feel like a hippo? How dare you? Charlie hit back, clearly tickled by Izzy's comment but faking outrage. Moving on to the auction, the letter opener started with a bit of 20 pounds, which had been made online. Charlie was amazed at the high price they had got already and excitedly turned to Izzy and exclaimed, 20 pounds online. Trending as the auctioneer continued with Charlie expressing his joy over Izzy's fine. Well done. Interesting because he goes from 22 pounds to 25 pounds to 28 pounds so it rattles up. The hippo was eventually sold for 30 pounds meaning Izzy had made a profit of 6 pounds. Both Izzy and Charlie were delighted by this but the former ended up making a small loss at the auction, meaning she went into the next round of the competition with a total of £289. 88. Charlie began the round with just £194.44 but walked away with a lovely profit and strolled into the next auction with £250. 10. Catching up quickly to Izzy's lead, 